What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Toys and James. As always, I'm James. These are the collectibles? No, that's not that's not right. What are these called? These are the the figures? No, no. Let's see. If I'm James, and these gonna be you know carry the one, dot the I, cross the T. These are the toys. That's right. I'm James. These are the toys. So today we're back at it again with some more Dragon Ball Super Dragon Stars figures. We got some really cool ones today. We got all of Wave 16, and then we got the convention exclusive uh, Super Saiyan Broly over here. But for Wave 16, we got Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, very nice. We got the awesome uh, Cooler, he's great to see, Frieza's brother. And we also got another family member, we got Goku's father, Bardock, in the mix here today. So this video's stacking up to look pretty nice, so let's check them out. Alright, first things first, you know I gotta take a look at Vegeta, my boy Vegeta first. So we'll take a look at his box, pretty standard box, just like everybody. Name at the bottom, Dragon Ball Super up top. Flip it to the side and you get the awesome picture of Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta with like the blue glow, that's looking awesome. Flip it to the back, you get all of Wave 15, I reviewed them already. And then all of Wave 16, which obviously we're gonna look at them all today. And then nothing much on this side, nothing much on the top or the bottom, and let's open him up. And we'll pop the top on him and get him out here. There he is. Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta out the box. Alright, here we go. We'll run down the accessories. And at this stage of the game, I feel like I could just cover these up with my thumb. And I could have you guys get... Can you tell me what the accessories are? You guessed it. Two open hands for your key blast. And here he goes, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta charging up with his background insert. I don't know why they didn't give him a blue one, I feel like that would have been cooler, but they gave him this one. But he's looking great. This is one of my favorite looks of Vegeta, just him in his classic battle armor, and then he's got the Super Saiyan blue hair. But it's pretty much just the same uh, figure that Super Saiyan uh, version 2 Vegeta, except the shading on this uh, outfit's different, like a little darker, and then obviously the hair's blue to the other one that's yellow. And if we get right up in on that face, that face looks pretty good right there. That's Vegeta's face. They didn't put uh, the little uh, vein in his forehead, which I wish they did. But, you know, other than that, this is a great looking face. And the Super Saiyan hair looks great, too. Very spiky, very cool looking. All right, and here he is next to this Super Saiyan version 2 Vegeta right here. And as you can see, the same outfit, the same hair, just different colors. Everything, this one's a little darker, this one's the more lighter blue. Let's zoom in on those faces, and you guys can tell me, after looking at these faces, which one do you prefer? Regular old non-vein over here? Or this guy with the vein bulging? I gotta say, vein bulging over non-vein every day. Alright, and here he is next to possibly the worst face in all of Dragon Star's history. We have the original release uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. This was from Wave 4, I believe. This guy was in one of the first Dragon Ball videos I ever did. And I don't mind the outfit on this one. Like, I like this outfit, this uh, the darker one, this darker battle armor. But the thing that separates these two apart is the face here. So let's check out these faces. Let's get up on those faces. And we can see how far we've actually come with these faces. Look, look at this. Look at that guy. What are we looking at here compared to this? Ooh. Get them both in there. Oh, yeah. Look at that. What are we talking about? This one's way better. And here he is standing next to a couple of Super Saiyan Blue Gokus. Over here on the right, this Goku, this was from Series, I think, 4, I believe? Or, no, Series 3, I think this came out. This was the original, um, the first time they released Super Saiyan uh, Blue Goku. And then over here, this Super Saiyan Blue Goku is from the convention exclusive, the Saiyan Evolution Pack, with like God Goku and stuff. He's got the symbols right there, awesome. And Super Saiyan Blue is one of my favorite transformations. Like this blue that they're showing in the hair is like one of my favorite shades of blue, like a nice like babyish blue, baby blue, light blue type sky blue. I just love that kind of color blue. All color blues, really. Blue's my favorite color. But anyway, these guys are looking great. All right, next up, we'll take a look at Bardock, Goku's pappy. Take a look at his box real quick, same as everybody else, name at the bottom, Dragon Ball up top, Flip it to the side, and this is really cool. Bardock standing right there, all flexing, ready to fight. Flip it to the back, you get wave 15, wave 16, nothing new. Nothing new over here, all the same stuff. Let's open them up. We'll open it from the top here, and get them on. What's up, Bardock? Welcome home. All right, for Bardock, I don't even know why I do this anymore. Here you go, two open hands for your key blast. That's all he comes with. Alright, here's Bardock charging up with his blue background insert. He's looking nice. Actually, now that we have a blue background insert, hold on one second. Let me get him out of here. Let's pop him right back real quick. 
Yeah, see, that looks so much better with a blue background. Nice. All right, so let's get him out of there. Back to it. Get Bardock back in the action. Sorry about that, Bardock. I didn't mean to steal your thunder. But here he is, Bardock, looking awesome. He's got his uh, usual battle armor on. He's got the green, like, on the sides and everything. Got the red on the legs, red on the arms. He's got a nice, uh, his, little, uh, his little, like, Saiyan monkey tail around the waist. And if we flip it to the back, you can see it's, like, tied up around the back. He's also got the bandana around the hair. But this guy's really cool. It's like just cool to see Bardock. Get it, get in on that face. I'll show you the face up close. And the resemblance to Goku's pretty on point. And you can see he's got the big old scar on his cheek, just like always. It's Bardock's a warrior, fighting for the Saiyan race to survive. His hair looks good too. It's just like Goku's hair almost, but just like a little different. And it's cool to see this like battle armor. Just Bardock. Bardock's cool, man. Great to have. All right, next to Bardock, we'll put the original, uh, this was the first Super Saiyan base form Goku released. This was in Wave 2, I think. And they look kind of good standing next to each other, but this Goku needs a better face. And they did release um, a version 2 of base form. I think that's coming, but I haven't been able to pick him up yet. I think he's in Wave 17, and that wave's, like, not in America or whatever the reason is. But we'll get him eventually. And here he is next to another base form uh, Goku. We got the convention exclusive Goku with the Whis outfit on. That's looking nice. He's got the base form hair. It kind of actually looks like they're holding hands. So that's like a nice little father and son moment right there. And just to be a jerk, here he is, <laughs> here he is next to Frieza. The guy who ultimately, uh, spoiler alert, kills him. Sorry, sorry guys. But if it's one thing Bardock better watch out for, it's Frieza's little finger right there. Am I right? Who's with me? Alright, the next guy we'll take a look at is Cooler, Final Form. This guy's really cool. Finish off Wave 16 here. Take a look at his box. He's got his name, Dragon Ball Super up top. Flip it to the side. You get the awesome picture of Cooler standing there all threatening. That's awesome. Flip it to the back. 15, 16. You already know. GameStop sticker. Nothing over here. Nothing over here. Nothing down here. Let's get him out. And we open the top like that. And we will yank him out. Everything we have. There he is, Kula. Alright, now with Kula, they've thrown in a bountiful pile of accessories. We've got two open hands right here for your key blasts. <laughs> Alright, here he is, charging up with his purple background, his evil background insert. This guy is awesome. Oh, man. This is what it's all about. Every once in a while, the Dragon Stars people, they deliver an awesome character. And this is one of those awesome characters. This guy is just bad to the ace. All right? He's just so freaking cool. It's just so great to see him. All right, let's check him out. Let's check him out. First things first, let's get in on this face. Look at this head. Look at this head. Those eyes. You get the big old spikes up top. Oh, my gosh. Sorry about that, you guys. I uh, just broke his neck. Then you get his big white, like, chest armor plates. His nice purple. And then what's this? Oh, what's this right here? Got a little torso articulation. No way, oh. He's got the hips. His hips don't lie. Oh, look at that. Oh, swinging them hips. Like, that's what I'm talking about. If they could just give this with more characters, that'd be great to see. Then he's got the spikes on his arms, on his things. Like, oh man, he's jacked. He's got the cool, like, freezer feet. Just so awesome. We'll pull it back a little and you get the big old tail around back. You can, like, swing around. You can do this. 360. This little part can move a little bit, but it does pop off, so just be careful. You can, like, stab people in the eyes and stuff. Oh, even himself. Look at that. So awesome. And then even on the back, he's got, like, these big old spikes, just, like, covered in spikes. And then he's got, like, these, like, little wear marks. Let me just get in a little bit better. Yeah, he's got, like, these little wear marks. From, like, all his battles previous. Some right here, too. Some right here. It's a little all marked up from all his victories, all his scraps. Just some battle scars from, you know, all the fights. All right, right out the gate, I wanted to show you how big this guy is. So here he is standing next to Super Saiyan Broly right here. And I think if you include the top of his spikes to the top of Broly's, like, Super Saiyan hair, I think Cooler might be might be slightly taller, which is crazy because Broly's a pretty big dude. But it just goes to show you how big uh, Cooler is over here. And here we go, you know, we had to get the whole family involved. Well, not the whole family, but we had to get his brother involved. We got the final form freezer right here on the right. And as you can see, Cooler towers over him, just like in real life. All we need now is some King Cold up in this piece, and we got the whole family. Both these guys look great to see with all their purples and everything. Ah, oh, man, I love it. And here he is next to the GameStop exclusive, uh, the Super Saiyan Goku battle damage. And it looks like we're recreating the uh, Cooler's Revenge here. 
that was a pretty good movie. I really enjoyed that movie. Cool is such a cool character. Just got to get King Cold up in here now, and it's going to be awesome. Perhaps you could do me a little favor. Tell me, what should I do with this Namek? All right, you guys. Well, before we move on to the last figure we're going to look at, I just wanted to give you the quick look at all of Wave 16 standing there together. Super Saiyan Blue, Vegeta, Kula, and Bardock. We'll talk more about this wave at the end, but just a quick look at these three. That's a good looking wave right there. All right, the last figure we'll look at is the convention exclusive Super Saiyan Broly. I'm not sure where this Broly is from. I got him off Bluefin for $30. We'll take a look at his box. This box is a little different than everybody else. Right up here where it says Dragon Ball Super, not colored in like everybody else's. And we'll take a look at his box even more. I got Super Saiyan Broly down here. Event exclusive. All right. Flip it to the side, you see the awesome picture of Super Saiyan Broly, all green, looking cool. Flip it to the back, you get that same picture, but all blacked out. It says Super Saiyan Broly in silver, that's looking cool. Nothing more to see here, here, or here, and let's open them up. Pop the top, and pull it out of there. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Super Saiyan Broly. All right, everything he comes with, no surprises here. You'd think he'd come with a little more because it's an event exclusive, but nope, two open hands for your key blast. That's it. All right, and here he is, the legendary Super Saiyan Broly out of the box, charging up, looking awesome with his gray background insert. We've never seen a gray background insert before. Not sure why it's gray, but I still think it's cool. And this guy looks pretty good. He's just a re-release of the original uh, Build-A-Figure Broly from Wave 7 and 8. We'll compare with him in a second here. This guy has some slight changes and then some more paint details and stuff like that. But he looks great. And this is the older look of uh, the Broly, the original look, not to be confused with the more modern Dragon Ball Super Broly look. We'll also take a look at that figure with him in a second. But it's still great to see Super Saiyan Broly in any form. The hair looks pretty good. The face looks pretty good. Got his necklace right here. It hangs free. Can move it around a little bit. He's pissed. He's big and buff. He's all swole. And he's the man. All right, and here he is standing next to the original uh, Builder figure Super Saiyan Broly right here on the left. So we can get a good comparison of the two. And this convention exclusive, just a little more darker shades, just some more colors, some wash. But the main difference is this hair is more darker, darker green than this hair. And then the jewels everywhere. This is like a bluish, like a teal, like an aqua type jewel. And these are all purple jewels. So, But other than that, pretty much the same figure, just the slight variations. And I'll just show you. A little more up close so you can see this just a little more darker with colors and stuff on the back everything's pretty much the same and the faces ah oh, these guys look great though awesome and here he is next to the more modern uh, Super Saiyan Broly from the Dragon Ball Super movie just so you can see how he stacks up against a more modern Broly. And here he is again, except this time we've added the Convent exclusive uh, Broly that was in with uh, Gogeta, that two-pack. And all these guys look great. All right, and here's all four Brolies, all the Brolies they've ever made, all at the same time. They're so big and massive, they're taking up the whole shot, blowing out the setup. But oh, wow, look at all these guys. And I'll take any Broly you can give. I love Broly. Super Saiyan Broly, the legendary Super Saiyan Broly. Are you kidding me? I love it. All right, you guys, well, that's going to wrap up this video. There's everybody we looked at right there, all of Wave 16, and then the 2020 convention exclusive Super Saiyan Broly. And honestly, this was a great wave, introducing two brand new characters. We got the Final Form Cooler over here, and then we got Base Form Bardock, and then Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta over here. You know, I love my Vegetas. I'll take, I'll take my Vegetas any way I can get them. I'll take it all day. Awesome. Love it, love it, love it. Final Form Cooler, awesome to see. Probably one of my new favorite figures as far as villains. I know for most of you, probably the Final Form Cooler is like the star of this wave, but you know, I love Vegeta. I love Bardock. Those are great characters for me as well. So overall, I'm really happy to add all four of these guys to my collection. So at the end of the day, I'd say wave 16, pretty great wave. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. As always, I appreciate you guys. Make sure to stay safe out there. I'll see you guys in the next one.